Hello Year 10, it's Mr. Lakins here. I hope you are well. Uh, before we get into our first lesson on video games, a couple of quick things. Uh, number one, if you have uh, any work that you did on the magazines that you've not sent to myself or Mrs. Kettle, please do just so we can have a look at it. And um, also throughout these lessons, I'll be linking to some YouTube videos. I'll put the search terms on the screen. So you just need to search the, for the video on YouTube and it'll be the first one that comes up. Please do make sure you watch them as they will be quite important. Okay, our first lesson then on video games is video game regulation. What you can see on the screen now is a summary of everything that you will need to know about video games. Obviously, we focus on Fortnite, but we also talk about video games in general um, as well, how how they're rated, how they're regulated, uh, and the use of, sort of audience theories, etc. So regulation of video games. By the end of this first lesson, you should be able to demonstrate an understanding of how video games are regulated. You'll be able to demonstrate an understanding of who the VSC and Peggy are, and you'll be able to demonstrate an understanding of Fortnite's Peggy rating. Throughout this video, I'm going to be asking you to take notes. There'll be a couple of tasks as well. Uh, whenever I ask you to do that, you just need to pause the video, uh, write down whatever you need to write down, and then press play again. So on the screen now, there's a couple of pieces of key vocabulary, regulation and ratings. If you could just pause the video quickly, get those jotted down, and then move on. What I'm going to go through with you now are the Peggy ratings. You've probably spotted these on uh, the boxes of video games, on uh, digital stores as well. There are also some on app stores. I'm going to briefly explain what each rating means and you do need to know these. So can you make a quick note of these as we go through them? You don't need to write down all the text, just a quick note of each one. So first of all, we've got Peggy 3. The majority of games in this category do not contain anything that requires rating or warrants a content warning. Games given this rating are considered suitable for all age groups. Some violence in a comical context or child-friendly setting is acceptable as is nude when shown in a completely natural and non-sexual manner such as breastfeeding. Peggy 7 rating. This is any game that would normally be rated at 3, but contains some possibly frightening scenes or sounds may be considered suitable in this category. A little more violence is permissible at Peggy 7. It is always unrealistic and often directed towards fantasy characters. The very mild non-realistic violence to humans may also feature. Implied violence, for example the bombing of a city where violence isn't seen directly, is also dealt with at this level. Peggy 12. More graphic and realistic looking violence towards fantasy characters is allowed. Any violence towards human characters must look unrealistic unless it consists of only minor or trivial injuries such as a slap. Sexual posturing of the types often seen in music videos is also allowed at this level, uh, as is sexual innuendo. Some bad language is allowed, but it can be no more than mild swearing. And at Peggy 12, games provide some instruction on casino-style gambling, uh, like blackjack or poker. Uh, this also appears in the Peggy 16 and 18 uh, ratings. A game at this level may feature horror content such as strong threat and dread or graphic injury details. The next rating, the exclamation mark, is a little bit different. That is for apps on an app store. So whilst um, it doesn't have an age associated, it's really just to say parental guidance recommended. It's a little bit like a PG, uh, but this is for apps that may contain something uh, that's unsuitable for children. Uh, so something like tw uh, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, where it's generally innocent and there are parental controls, uh, younger children might access that and see things they shouldn't. So the, the exclamation mark is to warn of that. And the last two ratings, Peggy 16. At the 16 level, you can expect to see more mature and realistic violence against human characters. The game may deal heavily with death and injury to humans. Sexual activity can be shown, but it must not include visible genitals. Depictions of erotic nudity may feature. The worst forms of bad language can be heard and will often include sexual expletives. The use of tobacco and alcohol may be encouraged and the game can feature the use of illegal drugs. The game could glamorize crime. 
And finally, Peggy 18, the adult classification is applied when the level of violence is both realistic or severe in nature, often being graphic with blood and gore. The game may include detailed descriptions of criminal activities, or it may some way glamorise the use of illegal drugs. Sexual activity with visible genital organs may be shown. If a game is released physically in the UK and is likely to attain an R18 rating, the game will be referred to the BBFC for classification. So those are your Peggy ratings, basically the age ratings that you might see on a game. So who decides what gets the rating that it gets? The notes are on the screen now. Please make a note of this. That in the UK, video games are regulated by the VSC, which is the Video Standards Council Rating Board. So the VSC decide what rating a game will get. And then the VSC uses PEGI ratings, which uh, PEGI is Pan-European Game Information. Uh, and they use that to um, give to developers who then have to put that on their box to say what age rating the game will have. So... Please pause the video, take as long as you need to jot those two notes down, and also to have a quick think about the question, why is it important to regulate video games? We're now going to look at the process that the VSC uses in order to uh, rate a video game. There is a YouTube video that you can watch now, which will visibly take you through a game being rated. If you search for the Peggy age rating process, it is the first video that comes up on youtube.com. I'm going to talk through the five steps now very briefly. What I'd like you to do at each step is to just make some quick notes and answer the question on the screen. So I will tell you what the first step is, and then I'd like you to pause it and make some quick notes. Step one is content declaration assessment. This is where the developer themselves look at their own game. They fill in a questionnaire about what their game includes um, that might need rating. And then they send that to the VSC who will give them a provisional rating. Okay, this is a little bit like when we talked about Bond, the fact that they got a rating and then they were able to go back and change things and say, okay, have we changed the rating? So a similar thing might happen here. So content declaration assessment. The developer sends information to the VSC. Step two is submission materials. So the next stage is where the developer provides evidence of what they've said in the questionnaire. So if they've said, we don't, our game has very, very mild violence, they need to send footage of that violence that's very, very mild. Step three, the VSC examine that footage. They go through their own internal tests and look at the video footage. Does it match up with what the developer has said about the game? Again, if you just take a quick pause, make sure you're noting these things down. There are also, some, there are also questions on the screen for you to have a go at. So why do the VSC need to the, see the footage from the game themselves? And step four, is the game examination. So the VSC will watch video footage, but they will also actually play the game themselves and see what they find. What could VSC discover from playing the game that they may not have done from just viewing the video footage? Please ha pause the video, have a think about that now and make some quick notes. And then the final stage is, of course, the receiving of the PEGI license. So once this whole process has gone through, uh, VSC will then say this is the PEGI rating that your game will receive. This is what has to be presented on the box when you uh, release it to retailers. And you can see as well that there are other images that kind of explain why it's got that rating. So the examples here are bad language and violence. Again, why do you think game developers display the rating they have received? They must. It is law for them to do that. Why do you think that is? Have a think. Please make a note. And when you're ready, move on. Okay, very quick questions now. I'm going to read a question and then give you about 10 seconds to jot down your answer quickly. You should be able to find the answer in your notes or if you want to skip back through the video to find them, that's fine. Uh, it's just some quick questions. There are three. The first question is, what does VSC stand for? The 
Video Standards Council. Question two, which rating is missing? You've got five ratings here, there should be six. Which rating is missing? The answer is 12. 12 was the missing rating. And finally, which comes first when rating a video game? A, the VSC play the game. B, the game's developer declares in detail the content of the game. Or C, the VSC assess video footage from the game. Okay, your answer should be B. And that's the game developers declares in detail the content of the game. I think the idea of them doing that first is they give the VSC an idea of what they need to look for before anything else. Okay, so Fortnite then. Fortnite is the game we'll be focusing on as we talk about um, the, the whole industry and audience side of video games. So what Peggy rating did Fortnite receive? You may know this already. Um, if you search for the terms there, ask about Games Guide Fortnite, there is a video explaining, uh, well, showing gameplay and going into detail about why Fortnite receives a certain Peggy rating. Um, listen to the reasons why it received that rating and make your own notes. Okay, so Fortnite received a 12 rating. Uh, the the main reason why at the top there it says this game was rated Peggy 12 for frequent mild violence. It is not suitable for persons under 12 years of age. So the main uh, the main reason it got that 12 was for the mild violence. Not enough to push it to 16, but a bit more violence than uh, you'd expect to see in a 7. If you pause again here, uh, just have a look through your notes. Is there anything you're missing that you could add? And when you're ready, move forward. Okay, a uh, quick plenary now. Just shouldn't take any more than 10 minutes. You've got some questions on the screen that I would like you to answer. Question one, who regulates games in the UK? Question two, Fortnite was given a PEGI rating of 12. Name two other PEGI ratings. And question three, briefly explain the reasons why Fortnite was given a 12 PEGI rating. We've gone through all of this information in the video and in the YouTube videos that were linked so you shouldn't have any problem answering. This is a typical kind of question you would get for uh, your exam on video games. So pause the video now, give yourself no more than 10 minutes to answer those questions. Okay, and that brings us to the end of lesson one. You should now know everything you need to know about video game regulation. The key facts that we've covered, which you will find in your fact sheet, are that in the UK, video games are regulated by the VSC, the Video Standards Council, rating board. The VSC uses PEGI, Pan-European Game Information Ratings. The VSC regulation process is content declaration assessment, submission of materials, video footage examination, game examination, and receiving the PEGI license. And you should know what each of those mean now. And finally, Fortnite has a PEGI rating of 12. And you should also know the reasons why it has a PEGI rating of 12. Okay, uh, any questions, any problems, please speak to me in the chat or you can send me an email at dlakins at johnfernley.org. Uh, but thank you very much and I will speak to you in the next lesson.